All new in a Channel 9 investigation that we've been working on all week, a medical director is sharing his concerns with Channel 9 about the care that some teenagers are getting after a mental health facility in Marshville was forced to close. We've told you about the allegations involving workers using zip ties to restrain a girl, a cook working as a counselor, and missing medication. Well, new tonight, Anderson Health Services medical director opened up only to Eyewitness News anchor Liz Foster. I believe that we that the system has failed the kids. Of course it has. Our Dr. Stan Smith work. is the current we medical never, director we, for Anderson Health Services, the mental health treatment center for teens at the center of a state investigation. Smith told me he'd brought up concerns to the owner and Actually, administration. Uh, the child psychiatrist of 30 years continued working at the center to help the kids in need. But due to what the state considered imminent danger and repeated failures, the state suspended licenses at Anderson Health one week ago today. All week long, Channel 9 has investigated Anderson. The state accused workers workers of using zip ties to restrain a 14 year old girl, taking shoes away from children so they wouldn't run away, allowing dozens of prescription pills to disappear, and even letting a person hired as a cook work as a counselor. This week, some teens started moving to other treatment facilities, but a week after the licenses were pulled, Smith says there are eight kids still at the center. Why did they also put in a place to rescue our children immediately? Why do we still have kids at this facility that you deem to be unsafe that still are there. Smith told me today most of the teens who live here for treatment are in DSS custody. He said no one with the state nor the agency in charge of transferring the patients to new facilities has reached out to him to ask his medical opinion about where the teens should go. I know there are about two or three girls um, who are going to group homes that are totally, I think, inappropriate for their current needs. Because there's a lack of residential treatment facilities for teens who need mental health care, Smith believes the state should have done more to prevent Anderson from closing. This kind of stuff shouldn't happen. The state should be able to stay on top of these agencies to make sure people are doing what they need to do so these kinds of things don't happen. And if things do go awry, to go in and fix them. Liz Foster, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.